Hey friends, I hope you all doing great. And today we are going to write a simple Java program to convert um, Roman numbers to integers. Sorry, so Roman to integers. So for that, let's simply explain what is it. So Roman number is uh, has this four, five, five, six digits. Simply these six digits. So this character means this number in integer if it is converted in integer i v x l c d m and these are their values so we need to convert so let's say there is a roman number x l x i x b i so uh, just for example so we are going to convert it in in integer so how how we are going to do it so the steps are first check the current number with the next number that is l first number then check it with x so if l is greater than x then simply write the value of l so l is 50 and x is 10 so obviously l is bigger than x so write down the value of x is get no no <laughs> oh, sorry yeah x is x is greater than v so we are going to just write the value of x okay so increase the counter now we are on v so v check it with i obviously i is 1 so v is greater than that and i is 1 so it will be equal to 60 66 so 66 but value of i with the next one so there is no next element right so we are consider we will consider that the next element is zero because nothing is going to be less than zero right so next element will be zero in so we'll understand in with it later it will be needed in case of array ex exceptions and if you are if you will take another example so x i x so in this example l is greater than x so 50 plus x is greater than i that is 10 but i is less than x so in that case if it is less than x less than the next element then we are going to write it like this first the next element then the current element and in between them is in negative sign that is subtracting that so 10 minus 1 that is 9 so it will be 69 i guess yeah 69 so that's the logic so program here's a simple program on that by the way this question was in the website lead code so link is in the description please check it out that website that this website is a awesome website for practicing programs it has a lot of questions and answers so just take it out here is our main main function it has just simply these two lines one is objectification that is class of class solutions object that is s and a simply printf inside the printf we are calling the roman to int fun function which is in the object s with a string okay so here is our solution function and inside it we have two function that is first is roman to int and another is this check function so let's describe check function first check is nothing just returning an integer and accepting a character which is going to just check if it is i c is i then return once if c is v then return five so just the values i have shown here so just simply return it so that's it up to 1000 so that is check function and here we have this roman to integer function we have two variables one is counter another is the answer so counter is in a for loop and that counter is going to be less than the length of s s is our integer here 
S is our string obviously that input string that is Roman digits are in S and now first store the value of first digit in a variable with taking it as A and for second digit that is B but we can't simply put it like we did with the current digit because the next digit can be out of bound as I have shown in this one in this one like if we are checking I then we'll check with the next very next value but there is no next element in this array so it will give an exception error for that I have put that condition here that if count plus one is less than length then it is okay to calculate value of b if it is not then just zero because the next element can be zero because there is no element so then the, that simple condition if a is greater than b then add it up if a is less than b then then b minus a add up b minus a and increase the counter because we are just we are done with two digits then we are increasing counter once again in this case we don't need to increase the counter because in for loop automatically it will increase the counter once and after that just return the answer so that's all no big deal let's run it for once okay no error 66 because the input is here l x v i which i have counted here l x v i 66 so hope you enjoyed this video see you next time